In the brightest hour of my darkest day, I realized what is wrong with me. Can't get over you. Can't... What's up, YouTube? This is Chad again, at you with another fragrance review. Um, today, I'm going to be doing uh, another one that I think is really doesn't get the attention it deserves on YouTube. There's really nobody that uh, talks about this. Um, and that is Black Walnut by Banana Republic. Um, the one that kind of is talked about in the Banana Republic line a lot is uh, Slate. But they have some other ones and they're really good. Um, I really like this fragrance in particular. Um, and I don't think, like nobody really talks about it. Um, so let's go through it. Uh, let's start with the smell. When you start off, it smells like if you've ever had Hennessy liquor. Uh, it's cognac. It's spicy, um, that kind of thing. If you smell it, it actually does smell a little bit like cognac. It's kind of this sweet and spicy smell. Um, that only lasts for a few minutes, and then it dies down into this sweet cedar wood. Um, they say it's supposed to be a woods accord. Um, you get a lot of cedar. No no mistake about it. You get cedar, but it's like a dry, sweet cedar. Like um, like it's it's been sprinkled with sugar or something, and it's just been sitting out for a really long time. Um, it's, it smells really good. I really like the smell. Um, this is sort of for maybe a younger crowd. I don't know that the older ones would... Well, I could kind of see, you know, and people over 30 or whatever liking this too. Um, it just has a pretty universal appeal to it, I think. Um, the sweet cedar, it's not going to, you know, blow your mind or anything, but it's pretty good. Uh, I think it's pretty underrated. Um, if you go on base notes, actually, almost everybody seems to really enjoy this scent. It's got um, 10 positives and 2 negatives. So, I mean, you know, it's pretty good. Um, not very many people have it, so you know, you're, you'll be pretty unique. I, I haven't smelled anything like this. Uh, not really even that close. Uh, so it starts out with the cognac. That lasts for about five to ten minutes and it's, that starts to die down into this sweet cedar accord, which is what I'm smelling right now. Um, now the sweet cedar kind of is the heart of the fragrance. That's pretty much what you're gonna get. Um, the cedar will die down slowly um, and once it dies down it's pretty much gonna fade into a tobacco uh, now this is really nice as well if you like tobacco um, you'll love this um, about an hour or two into the fragrance it turns into this woody sweet tobacco kinda smell and I really like it it's very nice um, uh, it's very underrated fragrance um, as far as longevity, it's not that great. I get usually about after three or four hours, it's pretty much died down to where you have to like really, really try to smell it. You're not going to get, um, you're not going to be able to smell it as people are walking past or whatever. They're not going to be able to get a whiff of it or anything. This is a close to the skin, somebody's right here on you kind of smell. It's perfect for if you're going on a date. You're going, you know, and we're upper class, and you and you're coming home or whatever, and your girlfriend or your wife or whatever will be really close to you. That's it's a really good for that because it doesn't, it's not going to overwhelm anybody. You could put a lot of this on. Um, and granted, I just have the little mini. I don't have the spray, but I don't see this getting cloying. Um, you'd have to really over spray for this to get too cloying, despite it being sweet. Um, so, you know, it doesn't really last that long, um, and that prevents it from being a work 
kind of thing. This would be really good for, uh, you know, just going out to the movies or something, and or it could work for a very special occasion, uh, formal. I went to a formal dance and I wore this last year, and it, it works very well for that. It just kind of has that feeling um, that it could very easily be, you know, a formal fragrance if you if you wanted to make it like that. Jaw dressed up in a suit and tie and all that. Um, projection. I already kind of talked about that. It it projects. I mean, it's pretty subtle. Anyway, from the very beginning, it's gonna maybe project about a foot off of you at the very, very start of the fragrance, and it's gonna start dying down immediately. And for the m majority of the time that it's on you, it's gonna be about six inches away. You might be able to smell it, get a whiff. But this is one of those things where. You have to get really close to uh, really appreciate it. You know, the closer you get, the better and stronger it's going to smell. It's not like some fragrances uh, where, you know, it smells great as you're passing by it and you get up to, you know, the or the person gets up to you and they smell it and they're like, oh my gosh, that's really not that great. Um, value. Um, this, you're pretty much gonna have to pay the retail price it's not um, it's not that easy to find online uh, there are a few places where you can find it but they don't sell this at a lot of places um, so you know it's not like you're gonna go find it for ten bucks or something it's it's pretty much gonna be at or around retail price um, that being said the retail price is not that bad um, for what you're getting. This smells pretty good, and it's it's a pretty good fragrance. It's not like um, you know you're not have, you don't have to worry about uh, it being smelling cheap or synthetic or anything. I, I think it smells pretty classy and pretty good. Um, versatility. Uh, this. Is okay in versatility. It's not gonna be like boss bottled or uh, any of those kind of things where you can just wear it anywhere. But you can pretty much, I mean, there's not a whole lot of times when I wouldn't wear this. The only thing that keeps it from being as versatile as some other fragrances is the longevity. If it lasted six to eight hours, it would be really good for longevity. Um, but the fact that it only, you know, I only get like maybe three to five hours usually, it really makes it more of a uh, night out kind of fragrance or when you're going out to eat something and then you're going to come back. Uh, I would, You can't really wear this to work. I mean, you could. But if you wore it to work, it would be gone probably by lunchtime. By the end of the day, you wouldn't be able to smell it at all. So, um, you know, it, you have to just kind of pick your battles. Um but versatility is not bad. I would wear it any other time other than work. Um, or you could wear it to work if you bought a little decant or something or you had a little mini and you wanted to reapply maybe at lunch or something like that. Um, it could work that way. Because I think it has a pretty formal, you know, professional kind of feel to it. It's not cheap. It's not childlike or it's not something that would, you know, oversweet or anything like that. It's, it's pretty good. Um, so... Uh, to the ratings, I'm gonna give the smell. I'm gonna give it a B. I really like it. It, it starts out with this cognac, uh, sweet cedar kind of smell, and it dies down. And that the cognac and cedar kind of goes down a little bit and meets up with the tobacco to to turn into something really good. I really like it. It's unique. I haven't smelled anything like it. Um, there's a few fragrances I think might smell like this if I could ever get around to smelling them, but we'll see. Um, longevity, uh, I'll give it a C. For a formal scent like this, something that's subtle, it sticks to the skin for a lot of the fragrance, but it doesn't, it lasts okay. Um, it's not going to blow your mind. It's not going to be way uh, lasting like 12 hours or anything, but if you don't, like if you're really close to it, you can still smell it after four, five hours into it. So that's that's not bad, I think. That's pretty good. Um, value, 
it gets a C. You're gonna play retail, you're probably gonna pay about 40, 50 bucks for this. Uh, I really haven't been able to find the, or I haven't looked online, honestly, um, at the price. But it's it's probably worth it. I think it's worth 40 or 50 bucks. If you're gonna pay like 68, 70 dollars for this, uh, there's other things that you could get for that, you know, that would probably be better suit. Uh, projection, it's a D. It's not good. It doesn't project well at all. It, it just put this on, and you can kind of see. I can smell it about maybe five or six inches away from my skin, and um, it's it's going down pretty quick. It turns into a very close to the skin fragrance uh, for most of it. Uh, and versatility, I already talked about that. It gets a B. You can wear this whenever. Um, the only thing that's preventing it from being a perfect, you know, perfectly versatile scent is the uh, is the longevity. Um, so that's my review of uh, Black Walnut, guys. If you are interested, please subscribe. I'll be putting some more videos up here pretty soon. Uh, rate and put some comments down below so we can have something to talk about.